This is a great way to get your vegetables and your fruits. And this is what I drink almost every morning. So stay tuned and you will also get the recipe for this. Hi everyone, it's Maria here. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Crafting and Cooking. Today I am going to show you an early Christmas gift that I bought myself. And I'm gonna unbox it here so you can see what all is in it in case you were wondering or hoping or thinking about buying one of these. And it is the Ninja Nutri Blender Pro. And I am so excited. I'm also going to share um, the recipe that I make pretty much every morning. Um, and it's a smoothie. So it's like a, a fruit and in essence vegetable smoothie because I do add spinach and kale to it. So let me go ahead and unbox this for you. And here's what it says. It includes the base, the cup, which is a 24 ounce cup, an 18 ounce cup, they both will have lids and then of course the blades and there's actually a recipe guide so I'm gonna go ahead and open this for you I was trying to find or see what would be the best angle but so this is the recipe book and the um, instruction manual I'm so excited. Okay, so here it's oh, okay. I really love that. I don't know if you can see the numbers on the side. It gives you the ounces. It's pre-printed on it. My other blender was starting to give out, and I use it every day. So um, this is the 24 ounce one, and this is the 18 ounce one, and this one also has the numbers on the side. You can see that. You can see the blades in this one and then this lid will fit both of them. I am so excited. Oh my gosh. So there is this and then of course, oh here's, hold on. Here's the one for the larger cup. So this is the lid for the larger cup. Ooh, it's oh it's Oh my gosh. So this is the base. And let me show you. Isn't that beautiful? You know you're an adult when you get excited over kitchen appliances. <laughs> anyway, um, so I'm going to get these, um, probably the larger one. I'm gonna go ahead and get these. I may as well get just both of them washed up. They are plastic, they're not glass which is kind of nice because it'll be easier to carry around. I can throw that in the car with me. And um, I'll show you the recipe. All right, give me just a moment and I'll get these washed up. Okay, so to start, I'm gonna aim this a little higher so you can see what's going on. Look at this, um, they have little suction cups on the bottom. Could you hear that? This thing is not going anywhere. I am loving that. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that there. So I am going to plug this in for the first time. Could you see that? That's lit up. All right, so this is what I put in my smoothies every day. I get celery, and I genuinely just throw the whole thing in there. So it's one little thing of celery. I do use half a cucumber. The cucumber I do peel. And if you're wondering what knife I'm using, I'm using the blue diamond. I don't know if you saw the video where I mentioned I ordered it from um, Bed Bath & Beyond. And I am loving this set of knives. They are extremely sharp. So. I'm just gonna throw that in there. I do have some pineapple. This is canned pineapple. It's about six little pieces. I'm gonna throw those in there. Here is a piece of ginger. I'm only gonna use about half of this because that's quite a bit. This way. I'm 
gonna put that in there so this is what it's looking like so far and then I do use gala apples I really it's one of my favorites this one and uh, the Fuji apples are also because they have a little bit of sweetness to them and I'm just gonna cut this up and I do end up using the whole apple and let me know if you want smoothie recipes. Um, my son really makes, um, uh, my son likes to drink smoothie recipe that's a little more protein driven. Um, so he'll do like peanut butter and then the protein mix because he does go to the gym. Let me get the rest of this on there, in there. And then I did pick this up at the store. It's called the Power Greens. Normally I'll add the spinach and the kale. If I happen to have romaine, I'll add some of that as well. But this one has charred the spinach and um, the kale. So I just grabbed some of that. I put that in this little bowl here. I'm gonna put that in here as well. And I'm going to add a little bit of orange juice. So I'm just using orange juice. I've got the kind with the vitamin D. So anyway, probably about about six six ounces. And here is the blade. I'm just gonna shove that right in there. And this is literally what I would do with my other blender. Okay. And let's mix this up. Now, since I already put protein powder in my coffee this morning, I'm not gonna add that. Otherwise, I would add some to here, like vital proteins. I'll show you what I like to put in my coffee. But, let me make sure I've got a good angle on here so you can see it. That's it. Okay, so keep in mind that I did not read the instructions. And so you will see me like pushing the button, trying to get it to start. I still haven't read it, but I will. And I believe I'm setting the number of seconds before I actually hit start. And then it gives a count as far as how long it's running. So as you can see here, once I hit start, there is a little bit of a glare, but it's actually counting the number of seconds that it is blending. And when I actually stopped it, it was at 22 seconds. Now I did wanna just test the little pulse button to see if it is like a food processor and it does look like it is, which will save me another appliance to purchase if that's the case. So let me go ahead and pour this into a glass so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so let me go ahead and pop this off. This is already so much nicer. Let me move the base. I'm loving those little suction cups on the bottom. They're super strong. Okay, so obviously I do have the lid, so I can easily take this blade off. And just add the lid to it and use it that way. But I do wanna see the consistency Okay, so I do like my smoothies a little thicker, so I do wanna show you the consistency, which is why I don't take the peel off of the apple. But look at this. Oh my gosh. That looks delicious. Anyway, so that is my breakfast smoothie, and that is the initial review of this uh, Ninja Blender. So my initial thoughts on this blender is a love. I am loving it. I, I love how smooth my smoothie came out. It's just oh, unbelievable. If you guys do end up making this recipe um, or this smoothie, let me know what you think of it. It is um, sweet just because there's spinach and things like that in there. I don't think it's not. It does taste very, very good. And sometimes I'll add a little bit of lime. Anyway, um, this is not sponsored. If I do happen to find a link for the Ninja blender I'll go ahead and um, 
include it in the description below in case you are wanting one and this will help you decide to get one. So anyway, um, if I do find a link and it happens to be an affiliate link, I will be sure to let you know in the description as well. Otherwise, um, it'll just be something to easily track down. But enjoy the smoothie. I love this. Enjoy the blender. And if you want me to keep showing you additional smoothie recipes, let me know. With the holiday season coming up, I do have um, a couple of videos coming up for cookie recipes. And I'm going to give you a little teaser. It does have to do with crumble copycat recipes. And I do have DIYs coming up to decorate this background. And I don't know if you can see in that little back corner, there's one already there. So anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for... Um, having me share this with you because I've been wanting to do this for quite a while and I finally sat down and got it done. Anyway, uh, thanks again and I will see you all next time. Mm. This is so good. It's a perfect way to start your morning. This is so, so good. Mm. So good. And of course, remember to like, subscribe, Hit that notification bell so that when that next video comes out, you'll be notified. All right, you guys have a great day, and I will talk to you soon. So for this next smoothie, I want to I want to test it out with the ice. So I am going to make the protein recipe for my son. Okay, so I am going to start off with some ice. See that? I'm gonna push this back here so you can see. And we can either use oats or use this something like this, Quaker Simply Granola. So it's got the oats, the honey, and the almonds. So this is what I'm gonna use. I'm going to use half a cup. I'm going to add a banana. So here I just have about a tablespoon of peanut butter. And I am using some almond milk. This one is sweetened with vanilla. If you have just plain almond milk um, and you want it a little more flavored, you can just add a little drizzle of vanilla in there. So I'm gonna add and just a tiny little drizzle of honey. Well, since this does have ice, I'm going to hit the crush button. And of course, I still hadn't read the instructions, so I'm playing around with it, but once I got it started, it literally took like 10 seconds and it had it blended. That looks so good. Okay, so. Here it is. I was trying to angle this so you can see it. And oh, look at that. It's perfect. And at this, you know, if you wanted to go ahead and add additional protein powder or anything like that, that would make it really good. But this in itself is amazing. And there you have it. That is the second recipe. And it crushed up the ice and the granola really well. Okay, well since I had everything out, I went ahead and gave you the second recipe. This is more of a protein shake because it does have the peanut butter, the granola, the almonds from the actual cereal. But, oh my gosh, it crushed up the ice. This is so good. It's hard for me to choose between the green, but... but I mean, you can get your protein in this one and your fruits and vegetables in this one, so either way, I'm in love with my new blender. I am so happy with it. I'll give you the details down below as far as which one specifically it was, or I'll put it right up here. But um, let me know which of these smoothie recipes you tried, or if you tried both of them. But either way, they're very nutritious. They're very good. And um, I will let you all go. You guys remember to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Do the same for my other channel, and I will see you all next time.